Good afternoon here on the campus of Robert Morris University here at the RMU soccer field number two located on the Northern Athletic Complex here on the campus of Robert Morris University. My name is Samuel Goldberg and I'm joined by my partner in crime, Kaden. Kaden, how's it going? How are you feeling today? Ready for some RMU club soccer? 1-0 to start the season and they play one of two against IUPUI. What should the Colonials look to focus on in today's matchup? Look, they're coming off a big win last weekend, 2-1 to one versus the Duquesne Dukes. And off of a couple of really good goals, uh, Mason Miller to start off. He got a goal right before the end of the half to make it 1-1. And then the game-winning goal off a penalty kick from Colin Guarini put them on top 2-1. to one. So this is a team that's filled from, with depth. There's a lot of good defender players. There's guys coming off the bench. They even told before the game that there could be a goalie substitution. And even Connor Dalton liked the end of the game, one of the captains and seniors of this roster. So it just shows you how deep this team is and how deadly this team can be going forward. Gotcha. And just to slightly correct you, it's actually Miller Mason. I know you were telling me beforehand that uh, yes, yes, it looks you, you wanted to get his paper. name right and you had your first test and you failed. Yes, I did. <laughs> Both teams in their pregame huddles. The captain is meeting with the referees to go over probably the ground rules for today to see how far they let them play. We had a heck of a national anthem from our very own John Tucci here. He's just he's just been everywhere. He's now going to go track down to the softball field to go do the national anthem down there. Tucci, an RMU campus legend. They really keep him busy, don't they? They really do. I mean, and then on Sundays, he's at like nine different churches to greet people from 6 a.m. to like in the afternoon it's it's insane he's a heck of a guy heck of a person if you do get a chance he, to meet he's, him he's a he's a character and he's one that absolutely loves here at RMU so I'm speaking to the IUPUI guys we were trying to get a roster some of them don't have numbers so we're just gonna write down IUPUI or IUP excuse me so many, so many IUPs and UIs, and it's like... Well, you're used to the NCAA stuff here, Oh, so. yeah, yeah. So IUP, coming all the way from middle, middle Pennsylvania, kind of close towards Harrisburg, almost. Let's say about maybe, maybe probably, an hour and a half drive. Like a half hour from there. Yeah, hour and a half drive, probably, from RMU. Doesn't take long to get there. I um, have some friends that go up there, so I've been up there quite a few times. Nice campus, but not as good as here. I would know it's about 30 minutes away because I have a, uh, one of my friends goes there to the IUP. Both teams hit the field. They are just about set for kickoff. It'll be RMU ball to start off this game. Sammy Bear, he's one of the guys up front there, number four. He was one of those guys I was talking about earlier that was just kind of all over the field, offensively and defensively. Even though he's kind of at the striker position, he's one of those guys that does get back for his teammates. That was a good sign. And there's Colin Greeny as well, one of the stars from last game, number 10 in red. So IUP in a 3-3-2-2. Three, three, two, two. We're underway. RMU running a back four as well with three midfielders and three forwards. Mason playing that ball back and a little deadly slip there and IUP takes possession. And back and forth to begin play. Almost like a tennis match, how, how yeah, far it is in the beginning of the games usually. Just kind of feeling each other out, just back and forth, and whoever gets the first little break, just kind of try to take advantage of it. IUP looking to control the ball here, sending it back to their back four, but that's stepped out by Catanzaro. Catanzaro trying to do something with it, loses possession. But it falls into the legs of, of Raymond. And he'll carry the ball around the far side, looking to try and cross it, but he's well defended by IUP. Bit of a scum other. in the corner. No signal yet from the official. Ball's free. Goes through the back line and it'll be registered as a goal kick. Yeah, Damon really took his guy down there. He kept the ball in his possession, bodied the guy off, and it was clean. The referee's going to let him play. That's always good to let. To, it's always good at the beginning of the game to let him play, not to call the game tightly. 
It's when you get closer, you kind of want to start reeling it in a little bit more. That ball sent well beyond the 50. Controlled by RMU, but snuffed out really quickly by IUP. Just a little bit too much on the header, though, and it'll go out of bounds. For an RMU throw. Komorowski, 12 in red, one of the defenders, also plays D3 club hockey here for RMU. So, defense here on the soccer team and also defense in hockey. He's kind of all over the place as well. That's pretty interesting, a multi, multi-purpose athlete. Yeah. Just like Captain Zara, he does volleyball, he's here at soccer, and he's very hefty on uh, doing things here at campus. Jake Hall's also a bowler, the backup goalkeeper for Robert Morris. And that ball sent long, it's into the hands of the IUP striker. He's going to try and have an opportunity, but it is snuffed out by the RMU defense. I believe it's number 12, Andrew Komarowski, getting back for defense, going to be at last stand. Cross sent in here for IUP, headed away by the defense. Missed header right there from Mason. IUP will control. And the ball back towards their defense and now switching the field long. But it goes a little too long out of bounds. RMU throw. Ken Zara tried to get ahead on it. Just kind of went over him and now there's a battle around midfield for the ball. IUP defenders calling for a switch. It's the opportunity snuffed out. Here comes RMU on the counterattack. They have slight numbers, four on four, but that opportunity goes for naught. As 31, Connor Dalton tripped and fell. The grass monster got him. The turf monster strikes again here at RMU, Sam. Well, it's not exactly turf this field. I, I like the name of it. <laughs> There's a shot from Dalton, hits an IUP defender, but neatly into the hands of the goalkeeper for IUP. Again, we don't have a roster for them, as some of them have numbers and some of them are just wearing black shirts. Definitely Sent long by the keeper on the 50. Misplay there from Cercello. He'll get a touch on it, send it back to his defender, and then they're going to try and send it long for Beret. And goes out, and it'll be an RMU throw. Both teams looking to control the ball early here. It's kind of just been a back and forth matchup. And it's it's early going. Komorowski did on the throw. IEP got a quick switch in here. That's what a little bit of delay was over on, towards our uh, second camera. Over on the RMD zone. Ball sent in and RMU trying to look for an attack. And it's played on the far side, Cat and Zaro. To Mason. Mason to Guarini. Nice little spin move there from Guarini. Guarini will carry, still carrying. Gets it back to Mason. Mason looking, looking. Trying to get it to Dalton. Dalton does so successfully drop it back. To Beret. Beret. We have a foul just on the edge of the box. Nice little setup from RMU. And they're they do trying it. to set up their triangles early. Kind of expand that IUP defense a little bit. It looks like it'll be Dalton taking the kick here for RMU. Mr. Everything from the Colonials. Plays goalkeeper now today, playing on the offensive side of things. There's a shot that whistles right past the near post. It was hooking, but didn't hook enough. There's no other ball for the goalkeeper for IUP, so he has to go take a little jog down the hill towards the Northern Athletic Complex soccer field one, As where the main gone. team for Robert Morris plays. <laughs> and he's over the hill, out of sight. And last game, Sam, there's we kept a little counter going of, uh, of throw-ins over on the left side towards the woods there. Counted kind of five balls went down into the woods, never to be seen again <laughs> during that game. Just one game alone, and all of them in the second half. So we'll see a little counter today if uh, we can break five maybe for this men's game. <laughs> that ball sent long off the three kick. One by RMU and then IUP. 
take control. No handball as it glazed off the arm of an IUP player. And we'll go to Guarini. Guarini looking. Finds his man Dalton. Dalton to the near side towards us to Beret. Beret with an early touch to Dalton. Dalton looking. Will drop it back. No. He crosses it in. It's an early cross. In the middle of the round on the outside of the box. It gets taken down. Big battle for the ball now. Beret just outside the 18. And it goes to Beret. Beret looking to cross. Instead he passes it down near the end line. Gorini, set up by Komarowski, and sits away by the IUP defense. So now IUP looking to counterattack. So Fiello wins that battle though. It goes to Komarowski. Komarowski looking. And his man, Damon, and Damon will send it long to Kirk. Kirk, passing it up. Here comes RMU. Little shot attempt hit off an IUP defender and just goes wide. All RMU right now. Offensive R possessions in their favor. And anytime IUP try to get it out, the defense of Cersei Yellow and Kumar out here right there to snuff it away. RMU quick with their counter attack. That shot by Mason. Hit an IUP defender on the way. It just trickled wide of the near post. It will be a corner for RMU Kirk. Bryce Kirk will take it. Sends the ball in. The keeper jumps up and makes a great diving play, taking command of the 18 for IUP, and will send it to the far right side for IUP to try and do something. They'll move the ball up through the middle, but it stuffed out by RMU, went off 17 of IUP, and goes out for an RMU throw and a substitution. As two players come on for RMU, and two players will exit. Like and Dalton and Gorini coming off for RMU. RMU's playing with a fast tempo here. It looks like you saw it the Kirk corner kick. As soon as that ball was set, he was ready to go. They were mm -hmm. applying the pressure early and trying to get something going so they can get this one up and leave. Ryan Kaminsky had something going for him, but he got dispossessed in the 18, but RMU wins it back. Here's the Murray. Murray. Hits it off the IUP defender, and it'll be a throw for RMU. Komarowski throwing it in. That is for Kaminsky. Kaminsky gets dispossessed, and it's set long by IUP. Trying to set up a counterattack, but Cerciello is right there. That was close. That looks like it was out. Very three telling each other to play on. Bit of shoving between the two. Player goes down for IUP. No whistle. It'll just be a throw in for IUP. You can definitely tell from the defense that Comer actually plays a little bit of hockey. Mason. Taking the ball through the middle. That's it back after being dispossessed. Mason with a nice little run through the 18. Tries to have a shot, but his touch is just a little too strong as he has to go into a slide tackle formation to try and get the shot off. Now here comes IUP on the counterattack. Into the corner it is. It goes. And a nice defensive job right there by number 20, Andrew Cerciello. Physicality's kind of ramped up here the past two minutes. Cerciello on that play won his battle, but an IUP player taken down in the course of it. So far this defense has been holding tough to that fast IUP counterattack, which they like to go to once they have the ball. I like to send it long every time. Almost had our first ball into the woods right there. They're trying to beat their high score. <laughs> or any of you played a lot trying to just go along the sidelines as we probably called 10 or 11 times last game alone in the first half, RMU corner or RMU throw and RMU throw in. Now, and it seems like they're going back to that method again. RMU really likes to attack the left flank of the field. That's where they like to set up their most of their possessions, but will casually sometimes switch fields and go down the right flank, which is the near sideline. Heading from left to right. So IUP will control the ball. Set up a little triangle. Get the ball down and a good dispossession right there. Our new player came in. 
and it's just the ball away. And now here comes RMU on their counter attack. It's Beret for the ball. Dancing. Tried to give it to Mason, but Mason kept communicating, give it, keep it yourself, keep it yourself, and Beret elected to pass, and that led to an IUP counter. But again, the RMU defense holding strong. It serves yellow to Mason. Mason carrying. Sends Beret down into the right corner. Beret. As the IUP has a little bit of arguing, saying, no way is that ball head off of the legs of an IUP defender. And it'll be Paul Morowski, I believe, to throw it. Beret. Trying to go off the IUP defender. RMU's throw. And that defender will dispossess RMU. Now here comes IUP on that counterattack. The defender trying to get to the ball, but Cerciello reads it nicely. All right, Cerciello. Just plays it. It'll be an IUP throw. It's not necessarily a bad play because it kind of sets the army defense up. Because they only had two or three guys back, and now they have the whole unit back that have to defend. And look at that, they get the ball right back. Yeah, Kirk snuffed out that weak cross attempt from IUP. And they'll send it back in. There's an opportunity, but the goalkeeper's right there. That's not Connor Dalton. You gotta figure out who that goalkeeper is. Jay Cole. That's not Jay Cole. That is not Jay Cole. Oh, no. That was listed as the Jay other Cole's goalkeeper still, Jay Cole's in our roster. standing all the way on the bench. He's in the he's in the all whites. He oh. still has he's still dealing with the left knee injury. Yeah, we have no clue who the goalkeeper is today. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Here's a shot attempt. Oh, what a save by I by the IUP goaltender. My goodness, I believe that was Catanzaro on the shot. It was a better, it was a great shot, but a better save by the IUP goaltender. An A-plus opportunity from Catanzaro from way out. The goalkeeper IUP just lays out, will basically get the hand on that goes over the net. But RMU still applying the pressure here. They're due. That was almost the screamer of a shot from Catanzaro. It was just knocked out by the IUP goaltender who made an even better save. It'll lead to RMU's second corner of the game. It's Kirk running his way past the bleachers, almost onto the other soccer field to get that ball. And it'll set up far for his corner kick. So Kirk to take the RMU's second corner. His first corner was snuffed out by the IUP goaltender. It sent a little bit long. Header just screams wide. Of the near post, number nine, Damon Nelson getting ahead on that ball, but just sent it too far past the near side post. Another A-plus opportunity, just a little bit wider than that yet again, as Nelson substitutions make their way on the field for RMU. Back-to-back -back game, so they got to keep everybody fresh. In love soccer for at the collegiate level, you're allowed as many subs as you want. Luckily, or else I don't know how you could do only three or four substitutions a game in this kind of doubleheader atmosphere. As the wind is picked up, as our rosters almost went flying. That ball works its way into the crowd. It's a little crowdier for the men's club soccer game here in an 11 a.m. game. Always good to see the army faithful come out for these kind of stuff. A little triangle set up right there. Randy has it, he sends it to Damon. Damon tried to get it to Canzaro. And now RMU controls. Serves to Yellow. That's a step on that. Canzaro reaches to it and collects it. And goes to Damon. Damon to Dalton. Dalton carrying. Full head of steam. It's at the share. Share. Early cross. Snuffed out by the IUP defender and he'll clear it. Trying to look for his striker to try and get past Cerciello, but Cerciello holding his own and now he'll get past Cerciello. Here's a quick shot attempt inside and a diving stop made by the goalkeeper for RMU. That was a good play there from the only person I know on IUP's roster, Tyler Kolonkowski. Someone who I went to high school with and got to call his games a couple times. That's the only reason why I know who he is. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and relook at the roster that I got set. Let's see if we can find the goaltender here for RMU. 
Got a little lead to the IUP, the first corner of the game after a nice save attempt from the goalkeeper for Robert Morris. The corner's in, it's a low one. Distance-wise, cleared. And here comes RMU on the counter-attack. It's Gorini. To drop it back. Army working their triangle. Cat and Zaro getting pushed in the back. And now Army will win it. Gorini's taken down. Whistle blows. Referee is reaching in his back pocket. I don't think it'll be a yellow. I think he's just going to mark where the ball should be and where 10 should be for RMU. Or Excuse me, IUP defenders. It's Kirk taking the free kick right in, right in front of the IUP bench. Kick is in. It's a high one going towards the goal. Nobody could get a head on that. He's looking for Greeny, 10 and red. Seems to be his favorite target on those kind of plays. It was a good opportunity, but none of the RMU players could get a body part on it. Is IUP yelling players to get up, up this field. Taking their time here, as IUP is going to send this one away. So I'm looking at the roster and I still can't find a goaltender. <laughs> for who they're starting, so we'll get that name at halftime. Maybe it is Dalton, someone else is wearing 31, we, we don't know. Could be that as well. It's a little bit of a problem with club sports. It's numbers change all the time. <laughs> that is pretty evident. I'll tell a quick story, Sam, here. D1 hockey last year against uh, University of Pittsburgh for club hockey. We had a roster, right? And the team gets there, and every single number is wrong in warm-ups. So we spent 12 minutes before the game trying to figure out the actual roster for this entire pit lineup. <laughs> we eventually got it done, but it was a nightmare to figure out. Yeah, it was kind of a surprising moment where it's like none of these players match <laughs> up. <laughs> it's listed like 1 to 33, and we see like number 97 and goal like taking the ice. We're like, wait, what? So we, found the, right. we found the website, <laughs> thankfully, it was right. But it was, it was wild. It was a little bit exacted for a little bit. But this one seems pretty organized for the most part. Most of the names do match up to the numbers, except for maybe a couple, but we have that every once in a while. A little bit of discussion here from the bench, the far sideline officials talking to the RMU bench. Didn't see any cards raised. It's an IUP throw. They have the ball down the far right side in the right corner. Here's our cross. That gets sent into the parking lot. I think that might have bounced off a car. <laughs> Thankfully, the, the ball right by the net. Not the place to have your car parked. Oh, no. Especially with club soccer happening. Our boss, Alex, last game had his car parked right over towards our second camera. On a, a ball bounced right before it hitting the car, so lucky break for him. And then after that, he moved his car. <laughs> <clears throat> the arm, you trying to send the ball along. It's stuffed out by IUP. And the throw will go to the near side for Komarowski. IUP defender draped on him, so he'll send it back to the goalkeeper. And now here comes RMU trying to set up something here. Gorini gets dispossessed. It bounced off a couple. I think that might have went off RMU's player last, but. Another fortunate break. The throw for RMU, that ball hits the hand of the defender for IUPUI, but no whistle there. This yellow gets to it. Gets it to Komarowski, and Komarowski will play it out of bounds. IUP throw. They send it into the middle for IUP, nobody's there. It'll go back to the goalkeeper. He'll tap it with his foot, sends it long. Looking for Cat and Zaro. Cat and Zaro. Motion toward the ball but didn't get there. Now he gets the ball again around the far sideline. But he gets dispossessed by IUP. And they'll look to move the ball up. 
Setting up their triangle. Playing it back, trying to have possession of the ball. The possession was a little sloppy, but they were able to get it to around midfield. There's IUP trying to set up their attack. Kirk is there to head it away. It falls into the feet of Dalton. It goes to Damon. Damon loses possession. But it finds the feet of Sa Salemi. Big scrum for the ball. Kirk gets tripped up. Here's a shot attempt by IUP, blocked by Kirk. And IUP sending it again, but it's right to the RMU goalkeeper. A lot of back and forth happening right in front of the RMU 18. Oh, my goodness, back and forth they went. And it's still going to, seems to go in that way as that kick sails towards IUP. And now it's bouncing around again. Uh, IUP winning the possession battle here in the early going. They control the attack of RMU. A lucky bounce for the corners there as Komarovsky just batted it down. Greeny goes down. IUP argues that it was soft, but RMU call gets the advantage in this one. A couple more substitutions here for both sides. It's a hot one here. And it's early going. I decided to wear pants and a long sleeve <laughs> shirt for whatever reason. That's the smartest move you can get, I think. But it is our work attire, kind of. But also, I think that excludes outside games. But hey, it looks nice. Slight breeze coming in right to left is the breeze. Kirk set to take the free kick. He will send it into the IUP box. The goalkeeper comes out, gets Ooh. his hand on it, sends it out. And IUP will look to counter. Kirk snuffs that out. He'll fall to the feet of Damon. Damon back to Kirk. Kirk in front of the RMU bench. Dribbles it, sends it back to Damon. Damon carrying it through midfield. We'll send a long ball. Was looking for Greeny, but it was headed by IUP. And there was a attempted ball through by Mason. But it falls right into the hands of the goalkeeper. And now here comes IUP. RMU looking to take control. It's Mason trying to win the possession battle. Dalton gets his foot in there, but IUP comes out with it. Anytime we see the ball remotely towards midfield, you always see red eight there, Bryce Kirk. He's always around the ball, it seems like, and that's why he's one of the leaders of this team. Yeah, Kirk kind of playing that de defensive mid-central role. The DMC. That ball got sent long for IUP. Fell to nobody. It'll be a goal kick for Robert Morris. Both teams still trying to fill each other out here. I should be keeping time, but I'm not. I think we're in around the 25 minute mark. 25 minute mark, yeah, that seems about right. It's 11.25, so I'm assuming we started on time. <laughs> so that's an estimate of about 25 minutes. For you to watch it, you probably have a more definitive time. Yeah. I'm used to I'm used to looking around and seeing a scoreboard, but there's no <laughs> scoreboard to keep time. It's a little bit harder with soccer because you got the 45 and then any extra time they add on after that. And then we usually have the computer running here with the 45 minute too, but obviously not an actual live stream of the game, so it's a little bit harder for us to keep track of the clock that way as well. That was that kick sent to the 50. Won by IUP. Right, a sloppy kick attempt right there from the IUP defender and it'll lead to an RMU throw. Urciello sends it long. Knocked out by an IUP defender. Kirk now takes it. Launches a really long ball. Trying to look for trailing Gorini. Gorini trying to win that that race sent out by an IUP defender, RMU, using that left flank. Our favorite term here on the broadcast, RMU, throw it. And that play from Kirk goes right along the sideline. Gurney with the pressure and IUP is forced to play it out. Dalton is going to take the throw for RMU. This throw might be sent into the box. I got three guys moving up, maybe now four. Uh, throw does get sent into the box. It's headed away by the IUP defender. And 
falls to Mason. Mason. Trying to find Burry. Gets the ball back. Trying to do a little triangle formation here. It's sent close to us. Neat little move by the IUP player, but his second touch gets a little bit too strong. And it'll be an RMU throw. RMU making a quick substitution. It's Kirk being sent off. Cersei Eller is on to replace him. Place one good defender with another good defender. It's a good thing to have on the army bench. Kamarowski will take the throw. And that'll get sent down the hill. Hopefully no cars are passing by. Our cameraman, camera car, is almost thinking about going and getting that, but... <laughs> kind of just waves off and... Cam's a hockey defender, he could have blocked that. And Stalton with the throw. There's a cross inside. Oh my goodness, a bicycle kick attempt right there by Nolan Course. But he gets whistled for a dangerous play with his cleat being around the face of the IUP defender. An interesting decision there to go for a bicycle kick. It was I, I personally wouldn't have gone for one right there. <laughs> no, you take risks, I guess, when you're in front of the net there, and if that's the best shot you think you have, I mean, you've got to take it. I mean, if you connect, it's probably a goal, but it's a little bit off, and then it gets also dead for it. Now the goalkeeper will play it short. Gorini gets aggressive. He wins that battle. Gets it to Beret. Beret trying to short pass to Dalton. Back to Cerciello. Cerciello down the left flank. Now they go. It's Korshor. A cross sent away by IUP. They'll look to counter. That was close to hitting off the hand there. IUP holding the line here. Now sends this one away and out of the belt. RMU making a couple substitutions as Bryce Kirk makes his way right back into the game. Small break. Water. He doesn't need a lot. He goes off for a quick two minutes and he's like, alright, I'm good. Right back into the game. It'll be another RMU throw after the substitutions are done. Nolan Corshore comes off for RMU. And goes to Dalton. Dalton to Mason. Mason looking. Had Gorini, but Gorini is offside. That was close, I think. He's awfully close, but the sideline official right there to make the call. Our one uh, crew member, Emily Carey, last time we had the women's game here last week, she noticed on the flag, she's like, they're very colorful. And she loved them. So, <laughs> it's weird, she's like, all other flags and whistles and stuff aren't as fun as the soccer flags. She says it brightens the game up. It's important yeah. for the officials to see if, uh, if their sideline mates have a call that they need to make. So, that's why their flags are bright yellow and orange Thanks, so that friendly. way they can be seen. Here comes RMU now. It's Beret. Beret moving around one IUP defender then gets dispossessed. It'll actually be a foul on IUP. Kirk will take the free kick. Has a clean leg as we know. Kirk asked the official to award them 10. That's, that'd be 10 yards from the ball, so that way there's no advantage for IUP to snuff out the free kick. It's a three man wall for IUP. Beret to the near side, and a pack of Colonials on the left side. Kirk giving out instructions. Kirk chips the ball in, looking for the far side. Header! Saved by the IUP goalkeeper. Oh, 
Another great opportunity. Kirk's been looking for the header all game. He gets one, but the IUP goalie right there to stop it. I believe there was Guarini with the header. Favorite target. Guarini tied for the team league in goals with one, because there's only been one game. Along with Miller Mason. Fan fantastic stat job right there. <laughs> and you got Miller's name right. I did. There Sorry you about go. that, Miller. I thought I was a typo on the page, so I do apologize. But <laughs> Mighty Magic Miller is still your nickname. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that. IUP attempted a cross in the far right side. It's stuffed up by RMU. Now here comes RMU attempting a counterattack. It's Guarini leading the charge. He's got Beret down, streaking down the far side. He'll get the ball. Beret to Mason. Mason thinking cross. Taps it. Crosses it again. In the middle. It's Catanzaro. Inside Beret trying to get there. And it's sent away by the IUP defense. RMU putting on two more subs here as the pressure continues in the offensive zone. The pressure is mounting here for Robert Morris as the possession battle has changed. See Kirk throwing here from next to our cameraman Cam. Our cameraman Cam. The Cam Cam. The Cam Cam. <laughs> the Cam Cam with that great shot of Brace Kirk right there. So Kirk sending a throw in long, looking for a beret. Damon trying to get a foot on it, and then it's sent long by IUP trying to set up the counterattack. A nice little one touch there, but it's stuffed away by Sarciello. That falls to Guarini. Guarini trying to get to Catanzaro. Catanzaro in a battle with an IUP player. IUP player falls down. Catanzaro wins the battle. Catanzaro is still trying to carry the ball. And it'll be sent away. IUP trying to fast counterattack. It's a 2 on 1. But the IUP striker. This plays it. There's a ripper of a shot from IUP, but it's right towards the goalkeeper for Robert Morris. It remains a nil-nil ball game. The only thing about the goalkeeper might be Carter Rum. I know he was listed as a goalkeeper in high school, and we haven't seen him at all on the field as a player yet, so that's a possibility. I like that, so we'll, so we'll call it as that. So Carter Rum is your goalkeeper. For now. <laughs> For now, until we find out otherwise. <laughs> RMU has possession in midfield. It's Mason. To Beret. Beret. To Damon. Damon. Carrying. We'll send it back to Kirk. Kirk. We'll carry. To Mason. To Damon. Guarini. Guarini is tripped up from behind. Now that'll be a foul. That was an absolute no brainer from the record. He was right there to witness it. Guarini looking for his second goal of the season here. Been the hero in one game. Can he do it again? It'll be Guarini to take the free kick. And they're asked for 10. Hey, Cosmo. And that 10 is marked just outside of the semicircle of the 18. It'll be Gurney to take the free kick. Couple substitutions here for IUP. IUP actively moving around the box. Gurney winds up, fires! Just misses the near post side. Far right again. That has been the weak side for RMU they just keep kicking it just barely to the right. There's a good shot right there off the free kick from Guarini just screams it past the near side post. <coughs> Sorry. I should have brought some water. <laughs> yeah, that's, that would have been smart uh -huh. us, but That would have been, been smart, but I'm not smart. At least after It'll the be... game, we, we have an hour-ish to kill in the rec center until the next game starts. So. It'll be a free kick here for IUP. A goal kick, excuse me. Not a free kick. RMU wins it. It's Miller sending it into the box. Goalkeeper is there for IUP. Miller not happy. It is cross. Sent quickly out by the IUP goalkeepers. IUP trying to get work fast. But Damon for RMU snuffs it out.
We approach about the 37 minute mark according to time, 11.37, so we assume 37 minutes. We'll make sure to keep time here for the yeah. second half. Now you keep throwing. Long ball. There's an IUP player right there. Rum in position. Early cross. And a cross. Shot. Way over the bar by IUP. But a fast counter attack leading to a quick shot. I think you should invest in that netting right behind the other gold trees as well. So what we believe Carter Rum, being the goalkeeper. Yeah. Believe. Keyword. Believe. <laughs> we'll take the goal kick. He sends it to about the 50. That was an awfully dangerous play right there. Yeah, it's one of the eight players that's, that's still down. That's going to be a whistle. Joey Salemi trying to get a head on the ball. Goes right into the back leg of the IUP player. And the IUP player is down. Bit of a back and forth action right now. Still scoreless in this game. Looks like the right leg is what is being attended to in that IUP player. Salami just kind of went right into that leg. Oh, the player says he's all right. So a bit, bit of a back and forth action here in this first half as both teams still trying to figure each other out. Good opportunities for both sides. RMU, I would say, has had the better of the chances so far with a couple balls just screaming past the post. A couple of players I've looked at so far as key impact players, of course, Colin Guarini. He's been right in front of the net for those headers a lot. He's had a great couple opportunities along with Miller Mason. Both of them seem to be all around the ball in the offensive zone. And I wouldn't be surprised if one of them gets their name on the score sheet here soon. Catanzaro has the ball down the left flank. RMU looking to switch. Beret called for it. Ball didn't get there. Damon though right there to stuff out that play. And now IUP sending the ball all the way down. Or Rum will just let the ball bounce to him. And it'll go to Komarowski. Komarowski looking for Beret. Kind of around our cameraman down there. Yeah, there's a couple of fans right there to prevent that ball from hitting the camera, which is good. Throw in. Bit of a one-two attack right there. IUP trying to pressure the ball. Damon giving chase. They'll win that battle. It'll be a throw in for IUP. Damon's such a big body defender. Or midfielder, I should say. As there was a throw in error, the back foot of the player came up. So it'll lead to an RMU throw after that throw in error. Beret gets the throw in, oh my lord! Directed <laughs> right in the fan, my goodness. What chaos. That ball is sent out by a. An IUP player, Kirk with the throw in. Gurini giving chase. Beret's also there. And it'll just get sent out. Beret grabs the ball quickly and looking for a quick throw. We'll send it back to Kirk. Kirk, with a man on, gets dispossessed, wins it back. Now it's a possession battle. IUP wins it. Kirk still giving chase. Ball falls to the feet of Cerciello. Cerciello searching. We'll switch it, but an IUP player's right there. Here comes the counterattack. It's even on three on three. Falls just past Cerciello, but RMU will win the defensive battle and it'll go out of bounds for a IUP throw. IUP has one of the better counterattacks, Robert Morris will see. They really they send it long and their, stri and their strikers are pushed to the corners of the field, because that's where they like to start their counterattacks. It hasn't been a plethora of opportunities, but it's been quality opportunities for the Crimson Hawks thus far. Quick throw. And around the out of bounds line. Cerciello trying to box out 
a defender. It'll actually be a free kick here for RMU as there was just too much contact from the Crimson Hawk player. Carter Rum will send it long. Looking for Cotton Zero. Cotton's way to the fence, but nothing over, so our score still stands at 0 0 <laughs> on the scoreboard, and the ball's going over the fence. Another close opportunity there for that one to go over. Two different scoreboards we're keeping track of here. IUP throw. There's the Sir Cielo. Damon trying to get a foot on it. Then over Sir Cielo's head, but right falls right to Carter Rum. Carter Rum's gonna send it long. A booming shot past the 50. Headed by an R an IAP Crimson Hawk defender. Here comes a Crimson Hawk and the old monster strikes again against the Crimson Hawks. And Grass Monster strikes again, as you just said. It's Gurini. In the middle now. To Beret. To Mason. Gurini. Gurini gets dispossessed. IUP Swarm, but Karini still trying to fight for the ball. Kat and Zaro giving chase. And an IUP defender right behind him. Kat and Zaro sends it back. Here's a cross. Gurini's inside. Little push from behind. No whistle. Beret with a shot attempt. It's off the IUP defender. He gave chase to it. And it goes out of bounds for an RMU throw. Kirk running over to take that throw. As an IUP player down another one, it seems like 23 on the left. As Kirk tried to hurry up the play as he makes his way off the field. Looks like he's okay. Will be a substitution here for the injured player. Kirk giving out instructions. Kirk sends it into the box. Looking for Garini. As we wait for the official decision here, but it looks like Garini's going to get that ball. Yeah, it's going to be a corner kick. Yeah. Garini got his head on it, but the IUP defender was just a little bit taller and it deflected off of him and out of bounds. It'll be Miller Mason with the corner. It's a low cross. It gets sucked out. And now here comes IUP trying to set up a quick counterattack. Cerciello is there though and he's defending it nicely, but they'll still get the ball down. Rum out of his out of his line to send that ball down. IUP trying to send it long. And it goes to Nelson. Kirk right there to take that away. No bodies off to keep possession. Defender all over him. Official's going to let him play on until IUP gets the ball. There's the whistle. Kirk boxed out the defender. And all over him. Rum's going to take this kick. It kind of senses that there's little time left with your goalkeepers taking this kick at the 50. Yep. Wise move from Orange. He's setting almost everyone up except for Cielo. Try to just get one more shot here before you're half. Rum sends it into the box. Header! It's oh. in! It's Colin Garini. Colin Garini, third time's the charm in the first half. His third header of the game. This one goes in, and it's 1-0 RMU. Colin Garini. I said it earlier. He's due. And he gets his second of the season off a beautiful header in front. Could be the overtime here again like he was with how many kicks last game. It's been close, but one nothing RMU. Uh, Gorini, a sensational header. Give RMU the one nothing lead. Is that ball off the kick to Rum? He'll pick it up and roll it out to Nelson. RMU getting a goal late. Nelson's just going to carry this ball. RMU de or IUP defender. One. There's our first one. Yep, there it is. One nothing on both scoreboards now. That's a quick throw for RMU. Headed away by IUP. 
Ball still the legs of Damon. The defense passing it around. Cerciello sending it along for Beret. Beret has a IUPUI player on him. Beret wins it. Sending it along now for Garini. Garini heads it. Falls to Catanzaro. Catanzaro just overruns it a little bit. He's displeased with how he played that. Now he sprints over to try and get the ball from the IUP player. Slide tackles. Doesn't make contact with it. And IUP sending it long. Cerciello is there to head it. Falls to Kirk. Over to Damon. And the referee signals halftime. Halftime here at the Northern Athletic Complex. Here on the soccer field number two. RMU leads it one to nothing here on RMU Rec Sports. Back here at the Northern Athletic Complex here on the campus of Robert Morris University here at Soccer Field number two. Getting started here with second half of play. It is RMU one, IUP nil, as the start of the second half is about to get underway. Caden, what are your thoughts here from the first half? Oh boy, I think the offense has been amazing thus far. And just before the half, Colin Greenies header puts one home, and RMU has the slight lead here of one nothing. And it's well deserved. They've had opportunity after opportunity, and they finally got one right before the end of the half. I agree with that. It's RMU really kept the pressure up at the end of the first half, and they were able to put a goal on the scoreboard. Underway here at the Northern Athletic Complex. Game number one of two for Robert Morris on the day. We just learned after this game, IUP will actually play Pitt. So then RMU gets a little bit of a breather, and then they'll play Pitt, and they're, they're back to back. But good for RMU to get a little bit of a break from the thing. Well deserved break. Because they've been hustling all over the field for the first half. Mm -hmm. Sir Cielo had a misplay. And now it falls to the far left corner. An IUP throw. IUP changing things up here. They've sustained the pressure so far in the beginning of the second. Demon wins the battle there. Miller gets it up to Gurini. Gurini tried to get it back to Mason. And IUP looks in control, but Catanzaro stops it out. Catanzaro having an opportunity. He's got the goalkeeper off his line. Catanzaro trying to get around. A little attempt. Oh, and it goes off the post. Catanzaro beat his defender, worked to the outside. The goaltender comes out just a little bit, just a little bit more, and that one's it. Nico Catanzaro nearly making this a 2 to nothing ball game. It goes off the near post after just uh, getting the goalkeeper getting a touch. RMU will get their fourth corner of the game. It's a low one. Bouncing in front. Garini had an opportunity, but it gets sent away by IUP. Try to counter. Cerciello is there. Dalton trying to get into the mix. It's sent to Kamaruski. To Bure. Bure pressured. IUP counters. Damon giving chase. Sent long to the left corner. IUP player giving a chase. Just too far out in front of him. And it'll go out of bounds. For a goal kick. A little bit out of the reach of the IUP player. Luckily, RMU gets the break there and they get the goal kick to stop the pressure. Kick sent away here for Amram. Stopped by Barry. Here comes IUP trying to set up a counter. Is that one works its way into the woods and there's number two of the game. Throw in here for IUP and there's there number three. This is what this is what I was talking about. As soon as it hits the second half, balls go wild here. After only having one at the start of the in the first half, we've seen two balls, and there was number three nearly going out of bounds. 
so close to going into the woods and gone forever. Just like your favorite player, Nick Castellanos, did. Canzaro to Miller. Hey, outside! Dispossessed by IUP. Now here they come. Shot off of Kirk and into the hands of Rum nice and easily. Lewandowski had the angle there. Kirk just moved at the last second to block that ball and the easy pickup from Rum. Well, IUP trying to make a run. Stuffed out by Komarowski. It's whistled dead. I believe that's going to be an IUP ball. Not sure exactly what the call was there. Just a little push in the back. The referee's kind of clamping on, clamping down on that as a way to. Speaking It'll around be. the Royal Army Athletics Forward, who's Army football playing today? They're on a bye week. They're on a bye week. <laughs> yep. Oh, so all attention on soccer today. Yes. That is why I'm here. Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> How was it last week? Where, where was he at? Uh, Miami, Ohio? Okay. Yeah, I went on that trip last week to Miami, of Ohio. It was a long drive, but it was really fun to be in an FBS stadium. Yep. I was on a trip right there with Colonial Sports Network. What Follow us on it? Twitter. Or go to the website, Twitter's at RMUCSN. We're one big happy family now with RMU TV. See Cam giving little signals aside to plug that in there. <laughs> I was getting confused what he wanted me to do is the cross attempt by IUP. There's a slow and low one handled by Rom, and now RMU will look to counter. It's Nelson. Ball goes out, Nelson. Aggressive play. Here comes IUP. The cross. Literally nobody is there. And I mean nobody. Nobody was in the perimeter. Like outside the box. Nobody was within 20 yards of Rum and he handles it easily. Rum sends it long. It's a misplay by the defender, Garini giving chase, he'll just send it out towards the RMU bench. Komarowski's going to have a throw in here, <coughs> around midfield. Here comes RMU. It's Miller. Over to Nelson. Good block there from Ivy. Oh, there should have been a handball right there. I agree. It, it wasn't doesn't intentional. get called. Now here comes IUP. One on three. Now it's a two on three with the lady arriving IUP player. Good battle here. And there's another ball into the woods. That's number and gone four. forever. Number three and a half. Here's the second half hits. I tell you, start going. IUP is really winning the start of this second half. At the current moment, really pressuring. Oh, ball, and as soon as I say that, there's a dispossession. Damon trying to get to it. Now it's a battle. Dalton comes out with it. Dalton makes a move to Gorini. Gorini. Little hop over. Gets it back to Dalton. Dalton spinning. Goes to Catanzaro. Catanzaro plays it to the near side. It's Mason, but he gets dispossessed by the IUP defender. Now here comes IUP. Best chance of Warren he's had to start this second half. Besides Catanzaro almost having a goal, hit went off the post. Cerciello gets to the ball. He'll carry it. We're running to an IUP defender. Cielo gets back onto it. And it goes to Beret. Gurini. 
Gurney over to Mason. Mason inside to Gurney, back to Mason. Mason looking for a shot, but the IUP player stands in and snuffs that attempt out. Here comes IUP on the counter attack. Right in front of their bench. Cerciel is there to clear it out. It'll be a throw for IUP as we see a couple of substitutions being made. Looks like Dalton and maybe Gurini are the two guys coming off here. Just for a quick breather early in the second half. Well deserved break for those two. IUP's throwing here. Number 32, Chris Ogele. And for the first time in the ball game, Nelson gets ahead on it. Let me tell you, Chris Ogele is a workhorse from last game against Duquesne. He was all over the field. He kind of played that mid position, but offensively and defensively, he was just everywhere. Ball trying to go through for IUP, but nobody's there. It was a good attempt, and that ball gets sent long. Trying to look for Ken Zaro. The IUP player stuck his hand up to try and touch that ball, but he couldn't do so successfully. Now here comes RMU. It's Salami with a shot! The goalkeeper for IUP stands tall. What a play there by Salami. He had the edge to the outside, works, takes the shot and just rolls just right yet again and the IP keeper with the stop. Ogele tried to get in on that shot attempt as well. Ogele had the assist on uh, Mason or Miller Mason's goal in first team versus Duquesne. Nice little feed in front and Mason took his opportunity and put it on. RMU trying to find that second goal on the board for some insurance as Kenton Zaro will take his first break of the game as Brian Kaminsky comes back on also a huge roar from the crowd for Brogan as well one of the coolest names I think on this team uh, Brogan, Brogan, one of the more unique names that I've heard. It's here's a cross by IUP. There's only one defender back there. It's out in front, but Carter Rum stands tall. The IUP player not happy. They didn't get a foot on that. Polinkowski was right there. He just slightly missed the ball, and Rum and Sociali just snuffed it right away. Brogan Berkey did a great job right there on defense. Note that for your first piece of action. Something happening like that. Battle for possession in front of us. Damon gets to the ball first. He's going to carry it. And get it back. There's a play on as there'll be a later foul. Well, I don't think it'll be card oriented. RMU throw. Over to Corso. And he just got under that ball. Corso had an opportunity. He just got a little bit too much under the ball, and he sends it over the bar. He put it far down. It was just the fence far down. <laughs> yeah, I'll count it. That'll be a goal kick here for IUP. We had softball chance behind us, uh, north of the fields. <laughs> Damon gets ahead on it. It goes to Gorshore. Gorshore steps on the ball, trips over it. IUP takes possession. Ends it into the corner, but it's a terrible ball. And the IUP player trying to look for the long ball. As one sub for our new two for the Crimson Hawks make their way onto the field. Looks like it'll be Damon coming off. For his first break of the half. And the arm you throw. It's Berkey to throw. Brogan Berkey. Awesome, awesome, awesome name awesome. to say. 
Down the lane goes Salemi. He gets dispossessed. Now here comes IUP. Berkey doing a great job defending. Here comes the cross. Send on the 18. Players jumping shot from. Goes down to a knee and makes the easy save. Sticks out his hand to say easy, easy, easy. And we'll send it way down the field. Beautiful kick. O'Galley giving chase. Headed by an IUP player into the arms of the goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper for IUP will send it long. Look at these sky kicks from the goalkeeper. It's almost like a punter in the NFL. The distance and the length and the hang time just to get the guys downfield. It's like special teams almost. Uh -huh. It's Salemi with the ball. Gets it to O'Galley. O'Galley. To Mason. Mason cuts back. Dribbling in between a couple of defenders. Still carrying the ball. Trying to get it to Core Short. IUP's there. Switching the fields now, but it's read neatly by Berkey. Berkey, though, now out of position as IUP looks to counterattack. Kolonkowski head of steam, but Army's defense takes it right away as it bounces its way out. Couple more substitutions coming on for both teams. Miller has taken his first break, as well as Brogan Berkey. Substitutions here. One to nothing is your score. They had to rethrow as the IUP player wasn't fully off the field. Now we're good, says the official. And now here comes three RMU players to the 50. That almost hit Cam, but there wasn't a fence there. Down goes the camera and Cam. The three substitutes coming on for Robert Morris. There will be a throw in here for the Colonials. Kirk to take the throw. And Kayla, one of the guys, making his way off of the Step field. Early, check two. Check two. A long throw for Kirk. Beautiful block from the fans yet again. Protecting the cars sitting right there. Yeah, the fans doing a great job protecting the cars. Last game we had zero broken windshields. We'd like to keep that number the same here today. It's Nelson to throw. Nelson. The Guarini. And now I can't see as there's a couple fans in the way, but that ball now trickling out to midfield. He tried to go for Kowalski, rolls right past him and into the goalkeeper's hands again. It would have been offsides anyways as the near official right in front of us would uh, sort of signaled for offsides. So it'll be a free kick here for Robert Morris after the dangerous slide tackle attempt on Nelson. Substitute coming on now for the Crimson Hawks. The goalkeeper is going to take this kick here from the Wilson Field. It will be Carter Rom taking the kick. Well, from your description of him <laughs> before pregame, you said he was a big dude. A big well, this dude. is a big dude this taking a free kick. kick. <laughs> Scholarship army lacrosse player. And he, he can hit, he can move, and he is fast when he's in the field. Hopefully we get to see him next game versus Pitt because he is a force to be reckoned with, I'll tell you that. Long ball off the head of Salami around. Oh. And sails just wide. Good opportunity there by Lee from, I think that was Catanzaro on the shot. Yeah, Catanzaro got a shot attempt there. I was waiting to see if an official marked off sides. Flag was remained down. This 
Still a one to nothing ball game. Ken Zaro's had two really good chances here in this, in this match. Maybe the third one will prevail for him. As here comes IUP, but wonderful defending right there from Nelson. Grass Monster tripping up one of the IUP players. Kure giving chase. Gets a throw in for RMU. Kirk racing to the ball. Here comes RMU. It's Garini. Crossing it in, in the middle, Berkeley, oh, and his touch, right in front of the net, he took, he just elected to use his right foot, went off the post, and out, he has his hands on his head, how do you not finish from that close, oh my goodness, this game should be 2-0. It's like Chris Boswell in overtime versus the Bengals, right off the pipe. That is the oh most boy. That is the most give me goal right there. Somehow this game is still one nothing. IUP better be counting their blessings right now. That did not go in. Nelson takes an IUP player down. They shake hands. That ball wasn't fully stopped. I'm surprised the referee didn't signal to stop play. Here comes IUP. Nelson with a dangerous challenge. Nelson is so surprised of this call. Yeah, quite liberal with those whistles. How many you want? How many you want? They are a dog, the play. Kwonkowski arguing the call as he's tripped up. He wants a corner kick out of it. The ref, no cards. Nelson was surprised because Nelson thought he got ball first and then the player tripped on him. It'll just be a free kick. The head official talking to his side official. Yeah, it'll just be a free kick. It'll just be a free kick, no cards. Fortunate for Nelson. So as they talk things over, they're letting the subs yeah. come onto the field. IEP was arguing that they already called for subs, and no one came on, so the play should have continued. <laughs> But it was whistled dead right off the kick. A lot happening yeah. in, this, in, this, in this middle stages here of the second half. About 20 minutes into the second half. Again, just guesstimating. There's no scoreboard around us. We'll assume. That's our favorite way today is assume. And here's the kick. It's a chipper in front of the net. Wonderful defending right there. Omarowski read it perfectly, used his head, and played it right out of safety. It'll be a throw. A regular chase. Does well. To Kirk. To Mason. Here comes RMU. Mason getting grabbed from behind. Ref signals play on. It goes to Catanzaro. Catanzaro. To Garini. Garini back to Catanzaro. Catanzaro. Hang it along. It goes to Damon. Damon rifles a shot off an IUP defender into the corner. Kenzaro giving chase. He'll win the throw. Quick throw. The Komarinsky, his cross is not a good one, but he'll slide tackle, make it to the ball first. Wins it to Damon. Nelson firing a shot. Nobody's there. Goalkeeper handles it easily. Wise with the goal to the IUP to call off his defenders and let the ball roll out and take their time and reset. Amoretsky well, does well on the long ball. Kat and Zaro turns, trying to send it up. Gets it back after hitting it off an IUP defender. To Dalton. Dalton. Back to Kat and Zaro. Kat and Zaro dribbling between a couple of defenders. It goes to Mason. Mason sending it into the corner to Beret. Beret. Cross. Snuffed out by IUP. And now here comes IUP trying to set up a counterattack. 
RMU get, trying to get back Kirk. He races that opportunity. Dalton has it in the middle of the field. Carrying it. Being challenged. Does well. Receives the ball back. Gets it out to Beret. Beret. Will pass the ball up. On the left side. Rules out. I think it'll be IUP throw. Yeah, it's going to be an IUP throw. The official here signaled IUP throw. Beret has his hands up in confusion. Hey, go, 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 go. It'll still end up with an IUP throw in. Hard angle for us to look at, Sam, so we're not 100% sure what exactly happened. And now RMU trying to get some subs on, Kamarowski. Just quickly just runs off the field. And Greeny makes his way off as well for Brogan. So a couple of substitutions here for Robert Morris. I keep trying to get some subs on, and then uh, now they have to wait on the sidelines again. <laughs> it's Kirk to take the throw. Kirk sends it long, looking for Captain Zorro. He gets ahead on it, falls into the hands of the goalkeeper. Fire that one along. Ball bounces around, Damon. Yeah. Wins the possession battle. Catanzaro giving chase. Let's send that one away. Berkey. Giving battle. Here comes IUPUI. He raced. By Kirk. Here comes Mason. Carrying the ball. Over to Dalton. His shot attempt goes over the fence. Into the cars. It hit three different cars in the colonial line. It'll be a goal kick. More substitutions for both squads. As I believe we're about 33 minutes into this second half. About 30. Sounds about right. <laughs> Couple minutes off, but that's okay. As the goal kick. That's sent all the way down. Nobody touches it. Cerciella will pick it up and. Throw it in. Berkey sends it into the woods. And another ball has fallen. Now you cheat throw. Work the ball around. <laughs> Another ball went out, but it was received. Oh, or retrieved, excuse me. So a little bit of camera issues for Friday, so we got all worked out now. Forgot to clean one of the memory cards before we started. Oh. Well, that's not good. At least we have two cameras, so at least <laughs> one was running, so we can at least use that. I hope that one has an SD card as well. There's two in here. We just had to swap them. So. Oh, oh, oh. Thank oh, God. Oh, 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 but the recording oh, oh, had to okay. stop on that you one just, for a little bit. It just worried me so much that we weren't going to get any of this. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's, we got everything up to the point where Cam told me it was full. But don't worry. That one's going too, so it'll still match up fine. We're just going to use that footage for about a minute. Beautiful. Everything was down here, right? Oh, that was going yes. down. Okay, yeah, great. <laughs> So Carter Rum will take the free kick after a foul committed on IUP. 
Rum will send it all the way down to Beret. Tries to get a hit it on it. It'll be a throw in here for IUP. Towards the card that rolls again, luckily the fence saves the day. Throw in. Metal four in the corner. The Fiello giving chase. IUP wins it. Martin got to it. Goes to Kirk. To Mason. Mason dispossessed. Gets it back. To Catanzaro. Catanzaro going shoulder to shoulder with the IUP player. Gets tripped up. Ref signals play on. Sherher giving chase, that'll go out of bounds from IUP, and it'll be another RMU throw in. Their 22nd throw in of the contest. We counted. 26. One gets sent into the box. Kirk is there, takes it off the bounce. Ooh, almost RP at least on that was in direct fire. He just bent it too far. To the right. one nothing is still your score here. Couple of opportunities for the Colonials in this second half. Not really a good one for IUP. Greeny, a goal scorer at the four half send off a header, his second of the season. We're awaiting the goal kick here. Well, for about half time and half the time ran anyway in half number two. IUP doesn't have the urgency you'd expect them to have in this game. Well they also have another game coming up after this. That's true. As it is an invitational this weekend. And that's gone. That is way gone. And that's the record broken right there. What is that six balls now on the season that we've lost to the woods? In this game. <laughs> <laughs> Nuts. Woods are not our friend in the stadium. So Cielo wins that battle. Well, back to the way out. The third win for the Crimson Knights. Lock him in there, boys. There we go. Barry was giving chase. That was right on the line. All right. Coming straight towards us. But it'll stay in play. Kirk sends it back to Rum. And he'll send it down. Dalton gaming chase. IUP comes up with it. Possession now around the 50. A possession battle, Damon giving chase. Sorcielo's there as well. The IUP player does well. Cross. Kirk jumped right in front of it, just ate that shot. That's what you want in one of your leaders, is just to eat a shot like that to prevent a goal. The IUP player turns, crosses in, but nobody is there for IUP. Seems like IUP is just playing with 10 men on the field right now because nobody's in the middle. They're having good wing possession, but nobody's there in the middle. The ball gets sent to the IUP bench. Still in. Maybe a throw for IUP. Shot. Easily handled by Rum. That was a rocket. That was a rocket of a shot indeed. A little bit of a jump there to prevent that goal. 
It's the third shot on goal for IUP. It's Mason to the ball. To Damon. Damon passes it up, has it dispossessed. Here comes IUP, best opportunity of the day, Carter Rum says no to that opportunity. Headed by Guarini. Sent out by IUP. Good hand there. A lot of bowlers here today. It was Ben Herman that made the play. I love that man, Ben Herman. I have, I have a uh, public speaking class with him. Let me tell you, that kid can go up front of any crowd and make anything he talks about enjoyable. Mm -hmm. He's a really fun guy. It'll be an RMU throw, their 23rd of the contest. Damon taking the throw, sends it into Gurney, the header. Out to Mason. That ball goes off his arm, it's a handball. Kirk steps up though and breaks that attempt. It goes to Dalton. Dalton to Gurney, back to Dalton. Dalton, looking, has it dispossessed, goes to Mason. Mason is dispossessed. And now here comes IUP. One to nothing is still the score here. As RMU has switched things up, they're now playing a back three and he's taken down in front of the bench. Both players will rough to get up. No signal from the officials, just gonna be a throw in for IUP. The only play we learned is through his parents sitting near us, number 19 is in the spikes that are IUP. That's all we know. We know one and a half players. IUP throw to the far left corner. Nothing happening. And it'll be a corner. And that, was, that could have gone either way. The referee decides to put it towards IUP's corner kick here. Warming up to behind the net. And so now they send the ball of their own into the woods. This wasn't even their game they put one in. There's the corner from IUP. It's erased by the defense. Guarini giving chase. A little bit of a dragonfly kick right there. My good. I don't think that was intentional, but my, that was pulled off perfection. I've only seen that at the pro level. I haven't seen that at the collegiate level, so it was pretty cool to see that executed. That dragonfly kick. And it's IUP's 15th throw of the game. Here comes RMU. So when he gets taken down, we'll slow to get up. The ball sent in towards Rum. No problem there. As Crowshore gets sent to the 50. Coming for Robert Morris, IUP. Wins that ball off the goal kick from Rum. And RMU tries to counter. Cat and Zorro. The Dalton. Long ball for Cat and Zorro. He will get to it. Gets tripped up. No whistle. And now here comes IUP. That ball sent out of play. And it'll be a throw for Robert Morris. Cat and Zorro did not like that call. A little bit of a word in the official said, Why was nothing called? Seemed like a clean play, though. Just a little push going for the ball. Nothing was called.
long throw for Earl Morris. Catanzaro kicks the ball into the air. Dalton wins the header. IUP sends it long. Nelson gets a touch. Sent out, IUP throw. Damon sends that ball out. Cam, the cameraman, going to make a play and keep that ball from going down the hill. Really track that down. Good execution, good finish. And that is our play of the game. <laughs> Here's the throw. For IUP, their 16th of the game, the cross. Sends all the way across the field. Almost like an unintentional switch. Inside, Rum handles it easily. Rum's gonna try and set up a fast counter attack here for Robert Morris. Sends it out to Cat and Zorro. Cat and Zorro giving chase. We'll send it long, Guarini. Off of his shoulder, controls it. <coughs> Crochure trying to get to it. It's in the air. IUP possesses. That player's on sides, never mind. Spills out towards the bleachers. IUP player saying I was on sides. Flag goes up. Clearly you weren't. Clearly he wasn't on sides if the flag goes up. So rum to take the kick. It was a good call from the near sideline official. Ball's headed up in the air. Dalton looking for a strike. It's sent long by IUP. Sorello giving chase. That goes out of bounds. IUP throw. That was a quick throw in for the Crimson Ox here. Rom easily handles that opportunity. Still one to nothing. Rum sends it long. Not a good ball right there, but Kirk is there to, to block that attempt. Salemi, the Grinny. The Crowshore. Oh, Crowshore and Dalton ran into each other. And the official's going to call a foul. That was. What? <laughs> so two RMU players run into each other and a foul is called on IUP. That doesn't make any sense. A foul on RMU for hitting each other. I don't know, man. So that doesn't make too much sense. Uh, two RMU players run into each other and a foul is called. Unless there's something we didn't see, but it definitely looked like they just collided. It only went down, they blistled it dead right away. <laughs> so Kirk will take the throw. Christian Walters isn't too happy. He's the president of Delta Tau Delta Fraternity. <laughs> you Ball really have a lot of shout out stakeholders. <laughs> Kirk is easily handled from the goalkeeper. <laughs> you more shout outs on right? You got CSN out of the way. You got Delta Tau Delta out of the way. <laughs> what else we got? I've already mentioned the bowling team as well. <laughs> On the TV. Oh, yeah. A lot of stuff. <laughs> There's IUP. Trying to find that goal, the equalizer. Not a lot of time left here in this game. As it was off, according to the official. Signaled off sides. Right. 
hear a little score clock going on every time. That's not a score clock. 44 minutes. We started that early. A couple minutes early. <laughs> That's, That's our what? audio levels. That's not our score No, on the top it lists how long we've been recording for. Oh. So okay. That's technically like our little score clock. That's what I've been using. Oh, for okay. Years. I was like, why? I, I was so confused why you yeah. were looking at that. No, it's the very top and the little, little red red numbers that has how long our recording has been going for. And that's kind of what I've been using the whole game to kind of see where we are. So probably 42, 40. We're within five months of it. Most likely. With any extra time. Well, IUP still searching for that golden goal, that equalizer. Kirk gets a hit on it. Nelson. Don't break up the defense. Kirk sends it out of the box. Dylan gets a foot on it. It goes out to Mason. Mason sends it long. Garini is there. He's got a golden opportunity. The goalkeeper is off his line. Oh, and the goalkeeper drips him up. Garini. That should be a penalty kick. Still had a play on it. We'll see what the call ball. is here. I don't know if that was in the box or not. That might have been right outside the box. Don't have a great vantage point here, but Garini, if he made that move, had a golden goal. It will be a yellow card for the goalkeeper. So that foul just occurred right outside of the box. What a golden chance, though. If Garini just puts it around, someone misses the tackle. That is an empty net. And that is a tap and goal for him. And it would be a 2 0 clone lead. Still a really good chance for him here, right outside the box. So Garini looks to take the free kick. Another RMU player is there as well. Garini, chipper, right to the keeper. IUP needs to work fast here. And that will do it. Robert Morris wins their first game of two today. They win by a score of one to nothing. Colin Gorini is the goal scorer in the game, his second on the year. Two goals, two game winners. That was last week, 2 1 win over Duquesne. One win, one nothing win here. Grinny, the hero once again. And the Colonials get a little bit of time off before their match against the Pitt Panthers. Yep, that'll do it for game one of two here on RMU Rec Sports. We'll be back with the second game here on YouTube. We hope you come back and tune in. Thank you for tuning in for game one. Final score, one RMU nothing IUP. Thank you for tuning in.